It's a UFC strawweight division matchup. Well, if she is not the best ground and pound fighter in the women's game today, give me another name, right? Because she has taken it to the next level. And more often than not, when she gets you down and starts throwing punches, referee's coming in shortly there. The referee jumping in to save her opponents has almost become yeah, um, synonymous with yeah, her fights. It's the way that her fights in. She's beating them so badly that the ref has to jump in and save them. We have not seen anyone so good at ground and pound since Tatiana Suarez first entered the UFC, and she has taken that to a whole nother level. Her ability to just control posture, control range, and land from anywhere from the top position is truly inspiring to watch. And not unlike you, she's got a mean streak. She told us in the oh. fighter meeting on Thursday, I'm about to give her some scars for life. So three <laughs> souvenirs coming on the ground if we get there tonight. Well, she is still the most dominant UFC strawweight of all time. Joanna Yan Jacek flirted with the flyweight waters, now back to 115 pounds. Truly a special striker with one of the best jabs in MMA. It's so fast and it's so effective. She can almost neutralize her opponents with something as simple as a jab. But what makes Joanna Yan Jacek stand out from the others is that when you try to attempt a takedown, she makes you pay for it. She will beat you up with elbows as you try to back out of danger to get back to striking range, which is exactly where she wants you. Has massive star appeal, but also has the fighting skill to back it up. She's confident, she's composed, she's conditioned, and Joanna Yeon Jacek is back on the proving ground here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here Ladies is and gentlemen, Bruce this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. She stands five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 110 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Martinez. And now introducing her opponent, fighting a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 19 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Austin, Poland, Joanna Yeojacha! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. Support. She is back tonight. Round one is underway. A lot of people expected her to win her last fight. She was on the wrong end of a decision. Now the focus is on regaining the momentum that initially made her a title contender. So a lot of people still believe the ceiling is championship for this young woman. All of that said, if she is ever going to realize a UFC title shot tonight on the heels of a loss her last time out is one she's got to have. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, here we go. Our first round is underway. She's one of the best wrestlers in this division. Yes. To that end, how soon do you expect her to shoot? Right away. She's going to go in there, move forward, try to force her opponent to the side of the octagon, change levels, get to a single leg, double leg, or an inside trip to score a takedown. Nice kick. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. Yeon Jacek gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. What a takedown. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot to the top. Fighters back to their feet here. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. 
Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. Oh, she's looking to set up that head kick. No good. She lands a kick there. She might be the best kicker in this division. She may just be the best kicker in this entire division. She does a great job. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a kick down the tip. Ooh, how about that reversal by her there, champ? That is a fantastic transition by this young lady. What a job. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Ioana Yeonjic. Powerful leg kick land. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, she's already landed several big takedowns, and there's another one. So you gotta like what you're seeing here. This offensive wrestling is on point. It's unbelievable. The variety of takedowns is what I am truly a fan of. It's not just one thing. She is doing different approaches, different takedowns to really, really confuse her opponent. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Nice strike. Good right hand from the top. Went for the inside leg kick. Beautiful head kick. Well, as a play-by-play -play guy, I try to stay out of the prediction business, but I think we're going to see another takedown attempt here soon. Oh, absolutely. You see it playing itself out over and over again. She enters, she gets the takedown, and she will not stop. And the record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Yeah, and Jacek gets caught by the elbow. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pound. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and getting back to your feet. Nice loop and punch. Wow, she just continues to execute on these takedown attempts. She hasn't always been able to keep her down. But she seems to be able to take her down. Well. And she has cardio to continue doing this right. for 15 minutes. It's not going to stop. It is going to be on her opponent to change the way that this fight is going. If she doesn't, she's going to continue to get taken down over and over again. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like punching technique, that round was about as good as it gets. Yeah, it looks like a boxing fight. She does a great job of using her hands to set everything up. She's so fast and she's so sharp.